All eyes were on three-year-old filly Rachel Alexandra Wednesday as the pill pull took place at Pimlico for Saturday's Preakness Stakes, the second leg in the Triple Crown. The winner of five straight races, she didn't compete in the Kentucky Derby but did win the Kentucky Oaks, was made the early 8-5 to five favorite. Rachel Alexandra is the first filly accorded that status in the Preakness since 1988, and that's not lost on Larry Jones, the trainer of Frisian Fire. I think she's the best filly we've seen in several, several years. You know, it's uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good horses out there. Zenyatta is very good. Azari was a very good filly. I mean, uh, Lady Secret uh, was, was good in her day. Uh, but I think this filly ranks up there with the, with the best names you can think of in fillies. I mean, the, all the way back to Ruffian. Uh, this filly here is uh, she, she's the most impressive filly that I've uh, got to got to watch go in a while. Trained by Steve Asmussen and ridden by Calvin Borrell, Rachel Alexandra drew the number 13 post position on the far outside. Borrell was on board when the horse won the Oaks, and then on the Derby he rode mind that bird to victory. It was his choice to ride the filly in the Preakness. By the way, no filly has won the Preakness since Nellie Morse in 1924. Pioneer of the Nile, the Kentucky Derby runner-up, was made the 5-1 to one second choice. The Colt will start the race from the number 9 post. Derby winner Mind That Bird got special attention on Tuesday's arrival, a police escort, to the satisfaction of trainer Benny Woolley Jr. I called a friend of mine on the way and said it's the first time I had police leading me instead of chasing me. So <laughs> Mind That Bird was made the co-third choice at 6-1. to one. He'll break from the number 2 spot after pulling off the second biggest upset in Derby history. Mind that bird was a 50 to one long shot that won by six and three quarter lengths. You got some truly good horses running in the race and, and you can't discredit a horse in the race. So uh, I think it'll be somewhat evenly bad and uh, I think it'll, it'll be a great race. The co-third choice favorite is Frisian Fire, which starts from the number five position. A field of 13 horses will run for the Black Eyed Susans on Saturday. Jack Briggs, the Associated Press.